So as you can see the winter is back in Oslo. I'm in Riking, Riking at the moment going towards Kosa station and uh, it's a winter storm actually this walk should take me according to Google about 30 minutes even though it's a winter storm it's a windy snowstorm I think it's quite nice outside I'm actually enjoying it I hope you can hear my voice through this wind not going to talk a lot but look at this this is Norway normal Norway I find it way more interesting that before leaving the house at the moment like three hours ago it was actually raining around here and now it became like this have to clean my lenses from time to time that's cool So the field that I just passed right there when uh, I was talking before were those green bicycle ooh, parking lots where that's a uh, high school a freaking or uh, just a school or a boat and this is like a neighborhood of Apartments back there, down that uh, first place where I started walking. It was a neighborhood of houses. It's just apartments here. Still have to clean these lenses a lot. No problem. Horizontal snow all the way. Probably will have to clean the snow in my garden as well. We'll see tomorrow. Because from this point till the place where I'm living it takes about 8 kilometers in a straight line. So I'm quite curious if there is snowing or raining or nothing because sometimes it happens that in some parts it does snow and if the others just doesn't we'll see
it would probably be a smart idea for me to just use some gloves right now which I have in my backpack they didn't take off already so I'm just thinking of taking them out look at this this is created by the by the water when uh, the temperature goes above zero degrees and the, the ice starts melting it's a river of water melting ice it is becoming to look more like winter time than it was before which is like you can still see droplets from the rain over them but it's becoming more and more like winter so nice The real feeling of winter it's uh, against the walls that people are not outside it's Saturday evening about 9 to 10 p.m. but whew, it's windy it's actually quite windy I will try to film without stopping, but at the same time I'll try to get off my hand gloves from my backpack. Let's see how this works. I just get the, got them out my backpack Whew. this one got pretty red I was using it to keep the camera on Whew. Not a pleasant feeling, but that's fine. Uh, I just hope I'm... <laughs> Look how nice it is. I just hope I'll get the right road till the target, which is the metro station. One down, there is one more. Oh, I lost my napkin. Have to take it. Not throw garbage outside. better hopefully my run right hand is uh, whew, 
kind of icy and keeping it in my pockets at the moment. I really hope I'm going towards the right path. I kind of remember this area, not sure. Camera still gets snowflakes. Oh. Pretty hard to keep it clean with this horizontal snow, though. I don't actually know where should I continue now, to the right or to the left. I guess it's to the right. Uh, we'll see in a, maybe 30 seconds if I remember anything from this side or if I should go back to the left. Okay, it seems it was actually to the left because I realized I don't remember this side and I tried to recreate the path in my head and uh, I realized I could have went this way Just to describe the winter storm at the moment, it's uh, it's pleasant when it's how it's happened in this exact moment. You can see it on that lad because uh, there is no wind. The temperature is about zero degrees, no less. So it's fine outside, but. Sometimes it's just too windy. That's unpleasant. Anyway, I know the road now. Sorry for the horse sound. I have some metals down my feet to just help me walk through icy places. That guy was quite fast for this kind of weather. This is the uh, Paul Barks station for the bus. Just a peaceful road ahead of me and it's uh, really peaceful because there in like 100 meters I start walking down a cemetery And 
that's the bus. Not sure if you've seen it. That one goes actually till my Teban station, but I don't know from where to take it. And at the same time, the ones that could have helped me from the place I, I was at first, they're just coming too late. Not necessarily too late, but counting the waiting time plus their driving time till Tebane it was the same as walking towards the station and I'm always thinking doing the math in these cases like okay if it's uh, I'm always doing the math where there is less than 30 minutes of walk uh, because more than that probably is unnecessary or too much sometimes when you really have to go to a place like home for me now <laughs> so I was doing the math so the the unknowns or the knowns for this mathematical function were one the time which was the same the second one was that by walking uh, and not using a bus to go there helps me do some uh, sport, some uh, activity. Uh, considering the weather as well, the third factor and I really wanted to experience this snowstorm because it's uh, as well I can think about the this is the cemetery as well I, I can think about the temperature if it was like below minus five yeah that can be too cold and uh, the money for the ticket so the ticket is about three euros not sure if considering all the stuff plus the money which clearly goes on only one side you can compare zero to three euros it's uh, something whoa my my feet are just noisy is this too much to enjoy the video as it is probably the cemetery here i don't know why but the cemeteries in norway are not giving me that horror thoughts as uh, in other places just peaceful not making me thinking of demonic things or whatever the lost ones that I don't know just being negative what happened this is really a complicated video with all this Never cleans it as I wanted to. So yeah, of course, having all of these factors in mind, I just thought about walking. I was also walking towards that location in Drikin, so that's a known path. It's so nice. You see, on this side there is a field no houses they're just I'm not sure but i think they're probably growing uh, corn here some other types 
of things you make bread out of them so that should be productive I like you can find this places in the city actually I like the wilderness of that so after this lightened houses I have to go a bit down and then up the road to cross a river interesting and then I'll just get closer and closer to the Tebane station I should probably get rid of this things helping me walk because it's actually just one centimeter snow and uh, no ice this road was clean when i came here three hours ago i've been walking towards this one look at the houses red and yellow nice colors all over around Not sure if you can see the lights there. So the, the city stays on top of the mountain there. That's nice. Look at the store. Big store. So I'm thinking that this will not stay too long. Probably there will be more and more snow over this night. They say it will... Uh, the forecast is that there will be more snow the following uh, evening. But in the daytime tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, the forecasts there's a plus degrees, like around 3, something like that, which doesn't help the, the snow exist. This is such a nice road to take over the summertime, the green fields around, it's quite nice. So anyway, Another reason to just enjoy this snowy evening. It looks way nicer here, like uh, white all over, there's some footsteps over here, 
back there it was uh, half of the road probably because of the rain that was staying down there the the path was uh, yeah just half water So I'm getting closer to the Tebane station, Kolsos uh, station, which is the last station on the west side of Oslo using the Tebane, the metro. And uh, yeah, this connects more easily the western part of Oslo to the other parts of Oslo. I have to take the metro for not sure but about probably six or seven station stations something like that I'll show you the the train that uh, goes there probably going to walk for about two more minutes until I get to the train look at the storm it still gets to my lens quite in an offensive way I might say but it's nice and uh, on that side there's another probably cornfield <laughs> it is just uh, an exception, it's not like you just push it and it becomes green in the, in the next second. Probably it wasn't green for a long time because uh, when I came here it, I pressed it and I had to wait for like three minutes or something, not three minutes but more than one. So this bus goes to the place I am coming from. I think it's about three stations. Or... So one of the things is that you can use a zone one ticket to get to this Tebane station, which is right here. And from here, you have to take the bus, but you are in a zone 2 of Oslo and that costs extra money so just to give you an example for uh, zone 1 you pay 39 kroner which is almost 4 euros which I think it's a lot anyway but then you have to pay extra for the zone 2 if you want to continue which takes not sure at the moment but I think 24 kroner which is two and a half euros which I think yet again is too much <laughs> but who am I to judge this so this is the Tebane that's the parking spot for bicycles in a safety way get into this one okay it starts in eight minutes so I'm getting inside it's 
So at this moment in time it seems like nobody is going towards Oslo from Rikin, from the west side of Oslo. So this was the whole trip till Kursos from Rikin. January trip. I hope uh, it was nice. For me it was a nice experience, I'm all wet on my jacket, still good, I, I managed to use the spring jacket for this walk there, I don't know how to let you show this, I probably can see on the camera, the timings for the Teban. seven minutes it, it will stop. 